today I have the 3.0.1 jailbreak for iPhone, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS. I wasn't necessarily going to make this video until I kept on hearing about the uh, 3.0.1 update and the SMS like virus that's going around in the iPhone world. So I was like, I was kind of getting a bit scared because it was going all around the news. So I thought I'd just make a do the upgrade to it and jailbreak it. So I just made this video. Uh, I don't know the time limit, but hopefully it's not too long for you guys. But anyway, so um, first you need, obviously, you need to have your iPhone plugged in to your computer, your MacBook. This is the Mac tutorial. So the first thing you want to get is uh, the firmware. Firmware you need is actually 3.0. I know it sounds weird, but you need to download 3.0. The link will be in the description to this website. You're just going to go and you're going to find the iPod Touch, iPhone and iPod Touch section, which is right there. And you're just going to go here, and then you're going to find your firmware, iPhone 3G, uh, 3.1, 3.0 actually. And uh, if you don't believe me, guys, I forgot to show you guys this, um, but I'm running 3.0.1, general, and about, and you can see my version. Version 3.0.178400. Okay, so I'm running 3.0. I'm not tricking you guys. So you're gonna go ahead and download the 3.0 for whatever device. Um, iPod Touch. You, this is not an update for you guys, so doesn't matter. If, you don't need to watch this video. But if you have an iPhone first generation with the aluminum back, you want to get bootloaders, and uh, I'll show you through the process. But I, I'm using a 3G, so it will be quite different. Next thing you want to get is Red Snow, um, from Red Snow Mac, 0 0.8. Link in the description to the right is this video. So go ahead and get the zip file. Then it'll unzip it and get the folder. And in the folder we have uh three texts and the application. So you're gonna go ahead and double click the application. Okay. So once you have all this done, you get the, the interface of the application. You're gonna hit browse your free IPS W file. So go ahead and hit browse, and then we're going to hit the 3.0 firmware. Go ahead and open, and it's processing the firmware. Now it says IPSW file successfully identified, then we can go next. Now it says downloading kernel. It's doing all this patching stuff. Patching kernel. So now um, you'll get uh, another option to for uh, first gen users. You'll say bootloaders. I'm pretty sure it'll say bootloaders. You want to check bootloaders if you want to unlock it, and you can also install IC. I'm not going to do that. Then once you go next for the first gen users, you have you get your bootloaders ready on your desktop. The two bootloaders. I think it's BL39 and BL49. I'm pretty sure. So get those two right on your desktop. Once you have them on your desktop. You can go and select the files for both of them, uh, BL39 and 49. Select them. Then the process is the same for all phones. You're gonna hold next, and then it says plug your turn your device off, completely off. So just gonna hold the power button. Go ahead and slide the power off. So it's still at the blue screen. Now it's turning off. And a review coming on the spec candy show soon. Okay, so it is fully shut off. You can't see, there's no blue screen, it's fully black. Okay, so now before you go next, I'm going to give you a heads up. This is going to be a bit confusing, but I'll just tell you steps beforehand so you don't get like. Uh, messed up with the restore pro process. So first you're gonna, uh, it's gonna say to hold the power button for two seconds. You can hold that. Then you're gonna quickly hold the home and power button for t about ten seconds. Then you're gonna release the power button and hold the home button for about uh, thirty seconds, about uh, appro approximately. So go ahead and go next and get ready with your iPhone in your hand. Two, three seconds actually. Then power and home. Home power that you see what I'm doing. Five, four, three, two, one, release the power button. Keep holding the home button for about thirty seconds. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. 
it's waiting for DFU mode and it says waiting for reboot. I'm um, just keep on holding my home button. So, uh, sorry about that. I just it's uh, what was that the white screen, and it just moved, and now it says downloading jailbreak data. So I kept on holding the home button. Now it's uh, it went to a flight. I flashed like a white screen, and now it it has this little installer thing on my phone, and it says right here it says. Um, uploading RAM disk on the phone. So let that, let that run for a few minutes. Okay, now it says rebooting, and you'll see the circle, spinning circle, right here. So I'll just wait for that to be finished. Um, and uh, on the app it says it's finished. I'm just gonna leave it there. And then after that, you'll see the little quick pwn thing doing this jailbreaking data right on the phone. Like all jailbreaks. Okay, so now it says so a quick pwn logo and it says flashing NOR. And it's just basically installing the update. And I will cut back when it's near the end. And one more thing, if you have the first generation iPhone and you put the uh, bootloaders in, um, I th I'm, I'm not sure if it's before this process or after, I'm pretty sure when it's done this process and it's rebooting, um, it'll just say, it will do have the screen there, it'll be like upgrading baseband or something like that. Just leave it like that, don't touch your iPhone. Now it's rebooting, but the... Uh, first generation iPhone will get like this screen and it'll be like this box here doing the unlocking process that's only for the uh, first generation so it's rebooting now process is done hopefully we'll get a jailbroken iPhone on 3.0.1 I'll come back. Oh, no, I'm just almost done. You can forward this part if you want. Okay, so my computer's obviously detected it already. Because it's got uh, the screen. Okay, so um, here's your screen, right? You just go ahead and slide to unlock. There you have your iPhone, and boom, there it is. Got uh, Cydia on. A 3.0.1 iPhone right here in general. About, about. And then you see it, guys. Version 3.0.1, jailbroken with Cydia on a Mac. So that's how you jailbreak your iPhone on 3.0.1, guys. So now you won't get the virus hack, and there's no reason to be afraid. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this tutorial. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.